What's up, Foxtrotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Maybe consider subscribing before you leave today. If you're returning, hello. It's nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who accidentally poured yourself a bowl of cereal, milk first. It's going to be one of those days today. You look great. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I am so excited to bring to you this r slash anti MLM video and I definitely wanted to address the audio in the last video. Apparently my microphone volume was turned way down while the background music was turned way too high. At least that's what I heard the main complaint, though some of you did say it was fine for you, so I don't know if that just depends on what device you are listening or watching on, whatever it is, but either way, I hope, fingers crossed, I have ironed it out in this video, or at least it is better, so please let me know below. But either way, enough of that. Let's go ahead and just get into some r slash anti MLM goodness, or trash. You know what I mean. How MLMers Calculate Profits 248 plus 208 equals 4,416. <laughs> I mean, she tried, right? <laughs> but that does seem like how they calculate their profits because we will see those compensation breakdowns for a company and they will show that 85% of the company, people who work for them, well, in quotes, work for them, will make like $200 a year, right? Uh, but somehow when they're promoting the company to someone else trying to sell people into it, they suddenly say that you can make millions, you can be a CEO, you can make 100000 a month. It just doesn't add up, especially when you look at the compensation breakdown and it shows, what is it, like less than 2% actually end up making any money and they those people usually end up making a lot of money and those are people very high up in the company go figure anyway <laughs> i like this either way i am so proud of my mom's transformation she was really apprehensive at first to try a new skincare regimen which was totally understandable but i'm glad she gave it a try her jawline and neck look slimmer much smoother she looks years younger and she is feeling so much more confident awesome job mom message me to customize a skincare regimen that works for you um first of all uh, her jawline and neck look slimmer and much smoother rude she looked fine before and I must say that filter she's using on her phone really is doing some wonders so I, these these skincare before and afters are always amazing there was one oh man it was from like six or seven months ago and it was a unique picture for their oh my gosh what is it called they, they ripped off the curology name um uology that's it or is it purology no but yeah uology is the unique skincare Anyway, and they had this picture of this girl and it looked like a day glow photo. Um, it was a photo she took at night in her bathroom, apparently, and you could tell it was just the phone screen glowing on her face, but she tried to claim that that was actually whatever lotion or serum she had applied to her face, whatever the uology <laughs> regimen had been, had just made her skin glow in the dark. And I just never got over that. That was just one of the funniest things I'd ever seen. So uh, I do love a good filter and um, your mom looks beautiful before and she looks beautiful with that filter as well. So um, knock off the BS. Thank you. I'm going to see how long I can get through reading this in the Hanbot voice before I emotionally crack. Okay, here we go. Double tap if you have ever experienced haters. You know, a lot of people have criticized me, made fun of me, and even abandoned our friendship because of my career choice. I've heard the laughs, the snickering, the rumors. Yes, I chose the road less traveled. You leave Robert Frost out of this. I'm different than you, but I refuse to have someone else in control of my paychecks, my family's future, my schedule. I refuse to just get by. I refuse to miss out on the greater life because it's different or because I'm fearful. You only have one life to live. This song literally brought me to tears when we heard it live at the Grand Ole Opry. It still gives me... Okay, I don't, even, I don't care. It's a Sensi ad. Wow, I can't believe I made it through that far. Okay, I'm just so thankful for Sensi and for those who actually do believe in me. Dare to break the mold. Dare to be different. Dare to be Sensi. Oh my God. <laughs> Besides being one of the more cringy things I've read in a while, I think 
the part about this that bothers me the most is that big middle paragraph, the one that's like, I refuse this, I refuse that, I rebuke thee, that paragraph there. I, I just find it really judgmental and kind of unfair. It's that tactic we've seen many a time with these companies. We've seen this many times before. This is the guilt trip. They make you feel bad. They make you um, more likely to go check out their website because you're feeling guilty about something. Like let's say you're a person who's concerned about your family's future. You're concerned about paychecks, money, you know? I mean, honestly, who isn't? But like maybe it's a really vulnerable time for you and you're feeling really worried about it. This is meant to make that person feel guilty. And I really don't like that. And I know you guys don't either, so. Okay, <laughs> next one, please. Hi, girl. I know this is random, but I was looking at your page. I was curious if you would like to be a product tester for me. I think you're so beautiful and would be amazed by our products. You would get my awesome discount for doing so. Would you be interested? Thanks, but I'm not looking to buy any cosmetics at the moment. Hey, girl. I know you reached out before, but I was looking at your page again and was curious if you... <laughs> Just didn't even skip a beat. Just, you know, uh, several months later, didn't even skip a beat, just the exact same message. Cool. <laughs> I mean, Huns are nothing if not relentless, right? <laughs> there is a reason that companies don't use wounds to advertise stuff. I'm just saying, I mean, having a popped blister on your finger isn't the way to sell nail stickers. I get what you're going for here. I get what you're going for. And and good for you for doing jujitsu. That that's pretty cool, honestly. Pretty cool for me to you. Pretty cool. I like that. But but I mean, come on now. Alright? That's not the way to sell nail products. It's just it isn't. D don't don't show me your popped blister or whatever the heck that is. That's absolutely gross. And I don't want to see that. And if I wanted to see something gross, I would go over to what's her name? The Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh dear God. Bless her heart, but I could never do that. My lord, that is the, the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. And if you like watching that, then good for you. But oh my god, it just makes me get queasy. I don't know how I got off on that tangent. Anyways, I mean, all right, cool. Jiu-jitsu cool. This kind of advertising, thumbs down. Boo. <laughs> I feel like I never encounter this Kangen water nonsense. And when I do, it's usually some ridiculous claim. And here we are. Kangen water healed my auntie's diabetes. What a beautiful moment to hear my aunt and uncle tell me this amazing news. She has suffered with diabetes for a few years now, and after drinking Kangen water for just over two months, it's completely cured. She hasn't changed anything else besides starting to drink Kangen. She said she even was eating worse than before, too, and this still happened. Wow, I'm so grateful for this water. And then I was able to introduce this magical elixir to my family. <laughs> Definitely wanted to share this on here with you, everyone. Change your water, change your life. Oh my god. <laughs> um, we're claiming that this water can cure diabetes. Stop. All the MLMs out there convincing people that these products can cure ailments. I just... <sighs> I just can't. Hey, I think you may have been hacked. I was notified that you added me to some weight loss MLM scam group thing. I'll delete it. Just wanted to let you know. LOL, no. I actually sent that out. Sorry if it looks hacky. It's shakes and supplements I'm using and I had an opportunity to share it, so I sent it to my friends list. Ignore if you want. Happy Monday. Thanks for giving me a heads up, though. There's a lot of hacking going on out there. Oh, okay. I'm about as anti-MLM as they come. If you aren't offended by my deleting it, then I won't be offended by you suggesting I should lose weight. Happy Monday to you too. I have to say the OP did a really good job in the beginning trying to give the Hun the benefit of the doubt, you know? Hey, this weird post appeared. I don't think you would ever send me something like this. So I'll just delete it and don't worry about it. Like she gave the girl a way out, you know? Uh, and, and no, the Hun just doubled down. And uh, I gotta say, I like the comeback there. Like, if you're not offended by me deleting it, then I won't be offended by you suggesting that I should lose weight. I just um, can't imagine a better comeback, at least in, in this context. Let me know down below if it's just me, but this particular hun gives me the absolute heebie-jeebies so creepy. 
I saw your life. I think it was today with your cute little daughter. So you said you have celiac disease. Would you like to get rid of it and be able to eat all the things that you dream about? Don't know if you've seen my post about this amazing molecule that has given me my life back. Well, if you're interested, send me a message and I'll send you information. Smoochies. Mwah. Unfortunately, there's nothing that can cure celiacs. It's a lifelong thing that I can only control by cutting out any and all gluten and cross-contaminated foods. But thank you for thinking of me. Hope you are all doing well. Not true, sweets. I have tons of people cured. The doctors can't prescribe this molecule. It's in the physician's desk reference. Unfortunately, they are no longer teaching it in medical school anymore. It costs Big Pharma too many losses because our company patented it and they can't sell it. Okay, you know what? Total and utter nonsense. <laughs> Completely. It's just, it's total hogwash. Okay, so uh, apparently this magical molecule that is so magical is so incredible uh, that they've actually just stopped talking about it in medical school. And that whole statement about it costs Big Pharma too many losses, also with the wrong Pharma too. I'm only nitpicking because this person is really creepy and otherwise I probably wouldn't care. Uh, also, they're being incredibly condescending, but we'll get into that after. But that really strange, paranoid statement about it costs Big Pharma too many losses because of the company patenting it, which if you think about it, makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Sorry. It makes absolutely no sense. It really doesn't. Uh, and if you break it down, it makes even less sense. So don't even bother breaking it down. Don't even bother wasting your time. But this person is just full of it, and I do not like the attitude. I specifically now to circle back to the condescending attitude that I really don't like. That not true sweets, I have tons of people cured. Okay, that's an incredibly ambiguous statement. I would like your proof, your scientific data, where your analytics, I need to see all of it. I need to see your spreadsheets. Um, show me your graphs, <laughs> you know what I mean? Show me all your evidence. You can't just tell me you have tons of people cured and expect that someone with a disease as serious as celiacs is supposed to just believe you because you called them sweets? Okay, I just need to stop. I'm clearly just ranting and rambling and I'm going in circles now. All right, <clears throat> have a sip of water and we're gonna move on, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to include this because I can't believe that we're back here again. You guys remember, what was it, a few years ago, maybe more, when there was that whole craze for those wraps. It Works was selling them, Kardashians were selling them, a few other ding-dongs were selling them, but they were those waist trainers they had the audacity to call them waist trainers but they were essentially overpriced saran wrap and rubber that you would wrap over your waist your stomach uh, in order to temporarily rearrange your organs to give the illusion of a smaller waistline <laughs> anyway i thought we, i thought we all were good i thought we all knew that and i'm sure most of us do so like what is this person doing did they not know are they are they really young? But I don't know, young people are a lot smarter than young people were when I was younger. So I, I just, I don't know who this person is. I don't know why they would think this was okay because this is low key, high key, embarrassing, okay? And if you're somebody out there who has been seeing a lot of ads lately about these waist trainers and you're thinking about doing it, you know, because the beer bug has everybody reconsidering their options, just don't, please just don't. Get into something else, anything else. Well, not anything else, but definitely not that. That goes in the list of things not to get into. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. You wouldn't believe it's already going out of stock. 1808 on 2020 versus 2808 on 2020. Wow, someone learned how to use the filter. So it looks like on the first photo, they turned the saturation all the way up and, uh, I'm trying to look at her nail length. Does that look like the exact same length on both hands? I think it is. She did this in the same day, didn't she? <laughs> she did this photo within five minutes of the other one, didn't she? <laughs> and dares put a filter on it. And it's like, oh my God, wow, this, this stuff works so good. You can tell in the first photo that she just had the saturation and the shadows turned all the way up so that every little bump and vein and knuckle was just emphasized. Uh, it's not quite as funny as the girl who used the self-tanner or claimed to use a self-tanner and thought it was so great and took a picture of it and then tried to show how great it worked, but it was just edited and it, you could actually see that the tile was a different color. So everybody made the joke that the tanner worked so well that it tanned the tile. 
<laughs> this is kind of one of those things because the basket's clearly a different color in the background as well. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> there's so many things you could pick apart about why this is clearly not what they claim it is, but I never get bored of seeing them. These are always just so entertaining to me. Sure, yes, before and after. We all believe you. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I am just having all sorts of time with this mic. If my volume sounds like it is all over the place, it is because it is. I am really, we're gonna get there, folks. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I think I'm saying that more for myself than for you. Thank you guys for being such good sports. <laughs> all right, it's time to go check out the anti-MLM viewer submission for this video. This submission was sent in by Kaya, and I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Please feel free to correct me below, but thank you so much, Kaya, for sending this in. I'm going to go ahead and read it now. Hey, Blank. My name is Blank. Blank Blank is working for me this summer remotely from home, and I asked if she knew anyone that might want to work, even just part-time if you have class or another job. She suggested you might be available, but wasn't sure. I knew that a few of the people she referred she hasn't talked to in a while, but she didn't want to leave anyone out, especially with everything going on right now. The starting base pay is $17 an hour, and our schedules are really flexible. If you're interested, just text me back, and I'll give you more details. If you're not no worries does this have something to do with vector marketing great question we work with cutco i don't know if you've heard of it or not but basically we're just looking for someone who can work well with people over the phone or video chat because of the whole situation going on right now with the beer bug i could call you real quick and tell you more about it if you want are you free for a chat for five minutes i'm sorry i'm not interested i don't support mlms Good luck to you, though, and I hope you're faring well during these hard times. Not a problem at all. Have a lovely summer, and thank you for your well wishes. Would you like me to put your name on a do not call list since you do not support MLMs? We never want to bug anyone. I'd appreciate that. Thank you for being understanding. Of course. Have a great summer. Thank you so much for that submission. And if you are interested in sending in a submission, you've had an interaction with a hun that you think is interesting, uh, definitely send it to my email, to my channel description. And if you have already sent one before, I am back combing and going through them. So I will be finding them if I can um, and will hopefully be able to find all the pieces that you guys have sent me if you have sent one. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video. It's time for the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. The animal featured in today's video was sent over by Emily, and I'm going to go ahead and read the email sent along with the photos. Hello, Den Mother. This is my cat, Tosca, adopted a little over a year ago. I saw a picture of her on the shelter website and was captivated by her eyes. She's three years old and originally came from a hoarding situation, so she didn't get a lot of attention in her early years. Needless to say, we've more than made up for it, and she's transformed into a very loving and affectionate cat. It's just me and her, but we make a very happy family of two, and I couldn't imagine life without her. Thank you so much for sharing that story. And I gotta say, I was single for a while, and I also had a cat, and it was just the two of us, and it was some of the best years of my life. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Emily, for sending these photos and sharing your story. If you want to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend Adopt and Not Shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies, donate if you can, volunteer if you can, foster if you can, and don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go ahead and send it to my email available in my channel description, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to read what you guys have to say, and I love interacting with you all. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. And special shout out to all my patrons. You guys are fantastic people. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. I do want to say that in the next video, I will be having a big announcement uh, talking about some fun stuff, some upcoming fun ideas. I'm just formulating my announcement currently and all that stuff and ironing out the last minute details. But I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. So that will be in the next video. And as always, folks, until that next video, take care.